Did you see Tyler Perry's new movie? So here's the thing. I was going to watch it. Okay. I love Taraji. Same. Um, and I love Taraji in roles where she might possibly be killing niggas. Um, or just doing anything. I loved yeah. her playing, you know, the studly assassin <laughs> and smoking aces that right, was in love right. with Alicia Keys. Right. I love her just in roles like that where she's a badass. Mm-hmm. Um, so I considered going to see it also so I can speak from an honest place when I'm judging Tyler Perry's latest works. Right. Then I saw you say that it was horrible, <laughs> even by Tyler Perry standards on Twitter. And so I decided to save my money and just ask you how it was. Well, that's where that little $10 million check reference came from, that oh, movie. Okay, well. Um, it was wretched. <laughs> you know, I've seen every Tyler, I think I've seen every Tyler Perry movie. I love the ones that are based on the plays and the ones that aren't. And I've seen the plays too. Like, I've been watching Tyler yeah. Perry stuff for a long, long time. Right. And this is his worst effort. Really? Yes. And really? You know, you know know why because he's he's trying to write from a point of view that he does not know and he does not bring in anybody sense. else to round it out or make sure that it makes sense. That makes sense so many parts of the movie if you're paying attention you're like what the fuck are you doing tyler perry like it just makes see now i almost want to see it just to see because if you saying it so is bad. his worst effort Be- because after you <laughs> Don't win. No, fuck that. That movie was great compared to this. Because Tyler Perry knows, because Tyler Perry has been doing that sort of thing for a very long time. That is his lane. But you trying to write, you trying to include Men, you, it's, a, it's a discussion about mental illness that really is not. Oh, so that was like a all. thing. Yeah, no. When I tell you, Tyler Berry just threw some shit together in a script and was like, "Let's make a movie." I also read that they shot it in like a week. Yeah, eight days. That's what I read online, and I'm like, and it fucking shows. It does in every scene. It's oh, so bad. I can't wait for that and to the, TV because I'm not paying to watch. Worse it. as it goes on. It, the ending is so bad. Wow. It is so bad. Taraji is all of a sudden some magic ninja who just <laughs> apparates onto this boat. I don't even know. We don't know how it happens. We don't know how she gets there because it doesn't matter because <laughs> Tyler Perry don't give a fuck. <laughs> I just want Tyler Perry to hire you know somebody else and tr- stop trying to keep all the money for himself because his work is suffering for it. I'm almost bitter because I remember being just battered <laughs> for saying <laughs> That Tyler Perry's productions yeah. were a fool. They're bad. Like more times than not. And the girls were just not <laughs> trying to hear anything that I was saying. And I've always, like, I'm, I always respected that Tyler Perry has given plenty of black actors jobs, black singers jobs. Yeah. He's a lot of That's always people. the good thing you can say about him is that he pays black people. He does do that. And he lo- lets lots of people use his sets and productions and all of that. Great. Mm-hmm. I'm going to always tip my hat to a powerful black man who's making money as long as you don't show your motherfucking ass. Right. However, that doesn't change the fact that I can criticize the work. Now I feel like because we have so many other black producers yeah. and writers and directors that have been making work that that is actually really good. good. Right. More people have like, mm-hmm. like the freedom to yeah. be honest about like, right. it's not even like, oh my gosh, Tyler Perry sucks at the game of life and shouldn't make movies. Like just make them well. Just, or, or, or invite somebody else to the table, settle whatever issues you have with black women. <laughs> Work that shit out Bitch. in therapy because my God, Let I me feel find like the headline. most people who usually like or are at least entertained by Tyler Perry movies will will feel the desire to draw the line. With this one, <laughs> I googled acrimony. It was actually right after you. I saw yeah, your tweet. Sorry. And on Google, one of the main headlines is from Fr- Refiner- Refinery Twenty Nine, and it says yes. <laughs> It says, yes, Tyler Perry is still obsessed with unstable black women. <laughs> well, damn. I was like, Jesus. He really, the, it's just so lazily done. And it doesn't make sense because he's so fucking rich. It's like, you don't, you don't have to shit a script paid, out in like, two a weeks. really, really great black right. writer you don't to have to, You don't have to get this movie done start to finish in a month. Like, you, you could actually take time and hire other people. Like, you, I don't get that about him, but it was so... So bad. I can't oh wait for it to hit God, it stars so or wherever. It was. Wherever he's I don't. Yeah, I'm not gonna say too much about it because I know some of y'all are gonna be like, "Oh, spoilers!" Acting like y'all gonna go see it anyway. <laughs> but it is just ugh, awful. 
Well, on the other side of things, black excellence. Okay, okay. Yes. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so <laughs> this week's black excellence is going to uh, three black boys that are actually British. This is something that happened late last year, but apparently... People are just finding out about it. I just read this on the route this past week. Okay. Um, but there are these three uh, British schoolboys that helped save a man's life that was a base- basically about to attempt suicide. Oh, wow. Um, so yeah. their names are Devante Caffrey, who is 13. Uh, well, they may be a year older by now. I don't know. <laughs> Sammy Farah, 14. So they were walking home from school. And they spotted this man on a bridge with a rope around his neck. Oh, wow. Uh, and the two boys went and to grab him and hold him from jumping and, like, encourage him and tell him he, oh, they're telling wow. him he's got a family. He's crying. Uh, their other friend, Sean Young, who is 12, meanwhile, was calling for help. Wow. A woman named Joanne Stammers heard Sean calling and then came to step in and, you know— Grab the man yeah. until authorities Holy came, which she said felt like forever. They also said that the man was like passing out as this was happening. So the weight of him, like they really had to like lot. hold yeah. on to him. Otherwise he could have died. Right. Um, and I think it was Sean's mother that said, you know, she felt like they were supposed to be there in that moment because Sean was telling them, hurry up or or whatever. And if they had just right. been messing around a little bit longer, they could have bumped into the man already right, dead. Right, right. Sounds like they came, like, literally at the last minute. So. Wow. Uh, they saved a life. I just Googled um, it. They are so adorable. Look at their little faces. And they will be receiving a national award from the Royal Humane Society, which is a charity that promotes life-saving intervention. Mm. Um, and you know, I hope they also get like a like a FaceTime from Beyonce. Or right, I feel like the Queen needs too. to invite them to something. Maybe not the wedding, but something. <laughs> they should be at the right. wedding. The something. Give them a seat. <laughs> They're so cute and and brave as fuck. I don't know. Well, honestly, I have no idea what I would have done at that age if I had seen something like that. Probably just pissed. House, right? right. <laughs> like I don't know either. But so shout out to those kids, man. Wow, that amazing. was a story that warmed my heart. So thanks y'all for linking three it to little me black boys. The root for bringing it to our attention. I love kids and their little British accents. Oh my goodness. Because I'm yeah. going to drag me. So I wish I'm I was great at it, one but... too, but you know, that's one of my favorite things about the British accent more is just hearing it come out of children. Yeah. It's so <laughs> like cute. it's just, anyways. 